Now, in efforts to pass the electoral threshold in March, Defense Minister and New Right Party Chairman Naftali Bennett will now be running together with the right-wing National Union Party under Transportation Minister Bezalel Smotrich. Israel's nightmare scenario as we enter the third consecutive election cycle in a year is that the deadlock will remain and fourth elections will be called. So to share up the votes and strengthen their sides, parties across the spectrum are scrambling to put together their best party lists, especially as the deadline to submit party lists is just 48 hours away. And to many, that means unifying, like the left-wing Labour, Gesher and Meretz parties just did, essentially ensuring that they'll pass a 3.25% electoral threshold. And let's not forget that the joint Arab list, Blue and White Party, and even the Likud have also absorbed or united with smaller parties to strengthen their ranks. Well, Betzalel Smotrich, the National Union Party chairman, is taking it further, saying the best course of action is to create the largest possible union to the right of the Likud. Meanwhile, though, at least for now, the far-right Otsma Yehudit and the Jewish Home Party under Education Minister Rafi Peretz have been left out. Still, overall, these last-minute negotiations are not expected to have much effect. The latest polls indicate that no matter how you slice it, the right-wing bloc will still only earn about 55 seats to the center-left's 57, with Lieberman's Israel Beitenu in the middle. That means that neither side will be any closer to forming a government. And here now to discuss the implications of the recent political change-ups, please welcome Davidi Hermelin from the International Center for Public Diplomacy in Israel. Thank you so much for being with us. Thank you. Now, Naftali Bennett of the, uh, of the New Right Party is considered to be more liberal than Smotrich's new party of the, of the National Union. Why are they together? I think this is a huge mistake. We have two political theories. One would say that the entire right wing should go together, all the parties together. Which in is what one, Smotrich in, in, ultimately in, says he wants. Exactly. This is one theory. Another theory would say that uh, uh, the orthodox uh, voters uh, are split into two main wings, the ultra, almost ultra-orthodox and, you know, more the liberal, so-called liberal wing of uh, uh, Bennett and uh, Ayala Chaked. And uh, if you unite all of them together, you can, uh, some people would not feel comfortable to vote for this joint list. So. Uh, what uh, Mr. Bennett and Mr. Smotch, Smotrich did, they chose the third option, which is mixed between the extreme right and the so-called liberal right. And uh, the well, so fear in the right wing now is that people will not feel comfortable to vote for them, from one hand, and people from the more extreme right will not uh, feel comfortable to vote well, for so uh, 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 Rabbi well, Rafi so Peretz. Maybe, so maybe then you can speak to a new poll that was recently coming, that has recently come out that suggests that 86% of the voter base in the right is perfectly happy, willing for a Smotrich bennett uh, alliance, whereas uh, I think it's so, something like under 10% uh, is willing to vote then for Peretz, uh, 7%, yeah, is willing to vote for Peretz and, and, uh, and uh, Ben Gvir from Otsma Yudit. So, you know, maybe it was the right re uh, uh, thing to do. But the thing is that uh, those, uh, that now we have uh, the right wing uh, has a danger that uh, people will vote for Mr. Peretz and Ben Gvir and it will not be enough to get inside the parliament, inside the Knesset. They so it will be again a waste of uh, votes, of many, many votes, which are critical uh, to the political uh, victory of the right wing and the, center, the parties from the center to the right led by Netanyahu. This is why I think uh, one of the two options uh, should be chosen, extreme right and soft right, or all together. But to make this mix, uh, wh while you have alternative from the uh, uh, more extreme right, and when I say extreme, this is not the extreme right of America and the Europe. Yes, I don't want to uh, blame anyone that is too extremist. Just if we talk compared to each other, if you have very right mm. and right, so you cannot have very right and mixed of very right and right because then uh, the very right can be gone and will not uh, pass the, uh, and will not cross the bar and uh, then the, the, the result will be that uh, the left wing led by Kahol Lavan, Blue and White Party and the Benny Gantz will win. All right, well, so let's talk a little bit about the extreme right that, you, that you're mentioning, which uh, I think by most accounts would include both Otsmai Udit and Rafi Peretz. Mm -hmm. uh, Rafi Peretz is recently in a lot of hot water for making homophobic uh, uh, comments, saying that you know homosexuality is unnatural and against Jewish values. 
Uh, is that the sort of comment that is going to hurt him ultimately then and Otsmayu Udit now that they're together? Or is he speaking to a voter base that is not going to leave him either way? I think that anyway, uh, people uh, who doesn't uh, feel com who don't feel comfortable uh, with uh, 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 those expressions, uh, they wouldn't vote for him anyway. While they have the the alternative of Mr. Bennett, and this is good example. When Mr. Bennett will take now uh, with him uh, Mr. Smotrich, so people uh, who dislike. Uh, the uh, anti-LGBT expressions by, uh, in the past by Mr. Smotrich maybe will not vote for this liberal sort of... So would the uh, Likud benefit from this? I'm not sure because people yeah. who wouldn't vote for Likud wouldn't vote for <laughs> Likud, unfortunately. All right. Well, and uh, before we finish, with your permission, yes. uh, I just would like to uh, inform our American audience that uh, I will be uh, starting uh, this uh, uh, upcoming weekend for three weeks. I will re visit the uh, southwest of America, California, and around. And if anyone would like to hear a lecture of mine or to hold a meeting with a group uh, about uh, Israel public diplomacy, Hasbara, the Middle East, etc., I would be very happy. You can Facebook me or uh, Google the Center for Public Diplomacy, and I'll be very happy uh, to uh, appear in front of them. Davidi Hermelin, thank you so much. People out there who are listening, take them up on the offer. Thank you so much for thank coming. Thank you. Up.